the number one mindset disruptor in the world, right, Dr. Shama? She said it, it started with the mindset. See, a lot of times we look for the reasons outside of ourselves, but she demonstrated true leadership in saying it was the issue within me as a woman that stopped me first, and then the people that surround me that help to condone that limiting belief system, right? So she said, first me, then us. And when you are a leader, and that is, the question was not only for her to tell us what she taught about women and uh, equality, it was for her to show us what leadership looks like. And boy, you hit it out of the park. And if we're thinking, as we walk away from this session today, I want to ask you, when it so-called looks like, it, like you failed, whether it's as a businessman or woman, an entrepreneur, a politician, an executive, a humanitarian, a social worker, when it looks like things are falling apart on whatever you're working on, who do you look to first? Right? Don't answer me, but I, I, I have a suggestion. I always say, wait a minute. What happened to this process here? Where did I lose track of my own vision and mission? Right? Taking accountability. Did I communicate it properly? Did I include the right people for the team? And did I use the talent that is available to me effectively? And then I say, well, where did everybody on my team fall? Where did they drop the ball? Where did they not do what they're supposed to do? Thank you so much, Shivani. So the deal is to look within and then look out. Change of that mindset. Oh my goodness, we have got six minutes. Ryan, this is your question. 